Hey guys, it's Rebecca and Ryan, and welcome back to our channel. Woo -woo. So today it's gonna be day one of our Vlogmas series. We're doing it a little bit differently than normal Vlogmas. We're just going to be uploading two times a week, and one of them is going to be a cooking video. And then the other one will be some sort of random funny video. Or vlog. <laughs> or vlog. So yeah. today we are making chocolate croissants. Ooh, yes. So first thing that we're going to do is we have all our ingredients laid out, but first we're going to measure it all out, and then we'll get back. <laughs> so we have all the ingredients laid out. We found this on Pinterest, by the way. Yes. We have three and a half cups of flour, Ooh. fourth of a cup of sugar, two teaspoons of salt, and then we have yeast. And we have um, one and one fourth cup of milk. We skim milk. And then we have this chocolate bar that we found at Target. And, oh, and two sticks of butter. And then we're gonna also need an egg and a teaspoon or a tablespoon of heavy cream, but we're not there yet. So we're just leaving that in the fridge. So first thing we need to do is let our yeast balloon. So we're gonna do... So we're making the dough. We're making the dough right now because we yeah. need to let it sit for two hours. Rebecca's the brains behind the operation. Two I just follow orders. Two and a half teaspoons of yeast. She's a really good baker too. You got one? Oh, look at it spread two. in there. One and a half. You want to do the half? Yeah. We also have our sous chef Hazel. She's laying on the floor right here. <laughs> She's supervising. Oh, and also with the milk, we warmed it. You don't want it to be oh, yeah. hot, but you don't want it to be cold because you need it to be warm for in order the yeast to rise. So we're gonna wait till this. Yeah, we microwaved it for like a minute, minute and a half, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And now, because I want this to double, we're gonna put it in a bigger bowl. So we tried using the skim milk and that wasn't working. So we ended up going with just water, yeast, and sugar. I, here's my theory. I don't know too much about it. I, I've never made yeast rise in milk, but I think because we use skim milk, that's why it didn't rise. I think you need to use whole milk for it. So I'm just sticking with what I know and making it rise in water out of the faucet where it's hot enough that you can put your hand under it, but not too hot to the point where you burn yourself. That's the temperature you're looking for. And then a tablespoon of sugar because yeast needs sugar to rise and I don't think there's enough sugar in skim milk as there is in whole milk. All right, so we have our risen, well, our bloomed yeast. Bloomed. Our bloomed yeast. <laughs> and I'm just here to do the dishes. Is <laughs> that wrong? <laughs> Are you that wrong? Yeah. <laughs> Now we're gonna start to mix in our dry ingredients. Put it on 10! Put it on 10! Put it on 10. Put it on 10. Oh, holy shit! <laughs> that was pretty crazy here. All right, well, we realized we weren't recording when we were just talking, so <laughs> pretty much I just mixed the dough up. So now the dough is done when you can touch it and it's not sticky. Yeah, I'm touching it, not sticky. Not sticky. I can't confirm. So now I'm just going to take it off the dough hook and put it in a greased bowl for it to rise. Oh, is this one that's got to rise for a while now? Mm -hmm. Okay. Rebecca has me watch her bake a lot of stuff. And I thought the yeast was going to take an hour and it only took like 10 minutes. Yeah, he was like, you want to go walk the dog? <laughs> All right, now I have our dough ball. It's going in the bowl. It's probably going to explode in the bowl. Yeah. And then I'm going to spray the ball a little bit. And then plastic wrap and we're going to let it sit on the stove for two hours and let it rise. And then we'll be back to roll it out and bake them. So the dough's done rising, right, Rebecca? Yep. Now we have our lovely ball. This is how you know it's already come close. Come close. Okay. And it springs right back. Ooh, very fun. Now it's presented to Hazel. 
Hazel. <laughs> <laughs> so aggressive. Be nice to Mr. Doe. So at this part, you gotta work really quick. Why? Because you don't want the butter to melt. Mm, okay. You want to keep it. Hard. I don't think we explained that you needed a layer of butter. <laughs> what in the world? It looks like a band aid. <laughs> Do you see it? Yeah, I see it. <laughs> Do you guys see it? <laughs> oh, you're tucking the butter in. When do we put the chocolate in? At the end? Oh, okay. <laughs> when do we put the chocolate in? I don't know. I just, I did the dishes. <laughs> Getting some sweet rolling action. <laughs> and the butter bursted. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, pull up again. I don't think I got it. <laughs> the butter bursted. It's kind of been a flop. It's been a flop, yeah. We didn't realize how long of a project this was. We've We're had... trying to do it like the quickest way possible. Yeah, we've had to roll out the dome like multiple times. Rebecca's rolling it out again, like we're finally on the last time. It's probably, I think we've rolled it out, what, three times in total? Three times in turns and... And then you like, each time you roll it out, you put it in the fridge for like an hour. Yeah, and then I didn't realize you could put it in the freezer. For yeah, like that'd be fast. Minutes. Yeah, that'd be faster. But right now, we're rolling it out, and then we're putting the chocolate in it to make the chocolate croissants. Oh, our pajamas. Oh yeah, we got matching pajamas. Let me show you Hazel. Oh, he's oh, so cute. Oh, and Maxie, he really enjoys it. He thinks it's like a little blanket. Yes, you good boy. <laughs> oh, you look good, buddy. We should be at a model. But yeah, we're, we're rolling it all out. And now we're what? What is it called, Rebecca? We're proofing, proofing it. So yeah, we're proofing it over These here. These are going to be... Ginormous. They're gonna be ginormous. Let me show you. This is just what it looks like in dough form right now. Just imagine when it's cooked. It's gonna no. be like double the size. Wait. Hopefully we can finish this in Ah I must call it a cinnamon roll! We, hopefully we can finish these chocolate croissants tonight. Cause we've been doing this all day. <laughs> it's nighttime now, you guys. All right, we got Chef Ryan in the kitchen now. You know, I, you know, I pretty much did all this work. Right Look there. at all these beautiful croissants, but I just wanted to show you some of the, <laughs> all the layers. Oh, show them the ones to the right. Those ones are really good. These ones are really, like, look yeah. at those. Those are gonna be Really proud ones. of these ones. Yeah. These ones are a little bit smaller, but that's okay. We're just now putting an egg wash on. Now in no way was this video a tutorial on how to make chocolate croissants. <laughs> <laughs> it was real life how we were making them, so. We were learning how to make them, so. Yeah, I don't think I'm ever gonna make croissants ever again. Well, unless I unless have like pre-made pre dough. Yeah, I was gonna say, pre-made we was... can make. This is uh, just too much of a process for us. I'm just gonna start buying croissants. I'm not gonna ever right. make is chocolate. Is that good enough for me? Yeah, I think that's good. All right. All right, let's put these puppies in the oven. Speaking of puppies. Yeah, we already showed them. She's so tired. They're getting hot. She's hot, so yeah. we're gonna take it off. But Maxie's over here. He's a good boy. <laughs> yes, you are, Sneeper. Oh my god. It smells like pizza dough. All right, hopefully we're talking to you next time they're done. <laughs> That'd be nice. Yeah. Here's the final product. Wow. Look at all those buttery, flaky layers. 
<laughs> Ooh, look at that. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. This is also going to be the end of the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed watching us make chocolate croissants. <laughs> and yeah. if you enjoyed watching us bake, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Yeah. And I hope you stay along for our vlogmas. Yes. Oh, they smell like perfection. They smell they so really good. You can smell them throughout the whole house. Mm -hmm. Thank right. you guys for watching. Hope yep. you enjoyed. See you in our next video. Bye. Make sure you subscribe. Oh yeah, make sure you subscribe. You subscribe and that you like and leave a comment down below if you want to see us make a certain food. Yeah. So, thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed. See you guys. Bye. Bye.